So I'm on my way back to the hives here at the farm and the dandelions are popping. Fantastic. It is not going to be very long at all before the peach trees are doing the same. I also see a little bit of clover out there already. This is fantastic. These girls are going to have a great, great year. Let's get back to the hives. Hey bug farmers, welcome to Bug Farmer Beekeeping, where we dive into the world of apiculture, beekeeping, and bees every week. This is the place to share laughs, explore bees, and learn together, all without taking ourselves too seriously. To join our buzzing community, it's easy and it's free. Just hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's cultivate beekeeping knowledge and fun together. Now, let's get into the bees. Hi, and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today we're gonna start the video with an apology. Last week when I was out here, I said that I'm gonna come back the very next day and inspect hives 11 through 20. Well, I didn't, it's been a week. But because it's been a week, we have an opportunity now. One door closes, another one opens. And the one that opened is we now have the opportunity to look at those three hives that we put brood in from other hives last week. We're gonna look at hive number four really quick just to see if, if they're doing anything with the brood that I gave them. Now they had a queen, she wasn't doing much, but they didn't have a lot of brood, a lot of numbers. So I gave them some eggs and some milk brood from another hive and hopefully they got that capped and they're ready to go in that hive. And then we looked at hive number six and hive number six actually had a, a charged queen cell in it and a couple of other smaller queen cells on the back and they didn't have any more eggs any more milk brood in that hive so i think their queen had just died just a couple of weeks ago and they did what they could with the few eggs that were in there and there weren't many obviously so we took some brood out of hive number seven put it in hive number six and i'm hoping that they did something with that and then our last stop on the loose ends from last week is gonna be the Enigma Hive, hive number 10, where we haven't been able to find a queen. Well, sometimes we see her, sometimes we don't. There's no eggs, no evidence of a queen, yet those bees keep living. So I, I took some, some brood and some eggs and some milk brood from hive number 11 before we wrapped it up last week and I put it into hive number 10 and I just wanna see if they've made a queen cell. I mean, if there's no queen cell in there, then we're gonna have to do another deep dive in hive number 10 and look for a queen because it's not just it, that hive doesn't make sense and spring is coming and we need to know anyways that's the goal today we are going to go through 11 through 20 and make sure that everything is ready for the splits that are going to be coming up next week and there you go and there you have it. let me get my smoker lit my my veil on and we're, we're going to get into the hives all right our goal is to make this as quick as possible so that we don't take away from what we're really trying to accomplish today so let's uh let's just have a quick look hello ladies coming in well, there has been some activity on the front of this hive since I've gotten here, so hopefully... Oh, there's some bees. I like it. Okay. Okay. Hello, ladies. Looks like all of our bees have made one happy family. Now, they're still on two frames for the most part. Let's, uh, let's have a quick look, shall we? Let's hope they didn't kill the queen when I put them uh, in here last week. There is a hive beetle. Oh, my beetle sucker's uh, my beetle sucker is not with me. It's over at the car. Let's see if we can just get that beetle up on the. There we go. I tricked it into getting onto my. Oh, we have a whole frame of eggs and some capped brood here. Okay. So there are eggs. So I'll make sure that you can see this here. There's eggs right here. Comes up under here. Then this whole side here. We're in good shape right there. The question is, do we still have our queen? This is the frame where she's gonna be. If she's gonna be anywhere, she's gonna be on this frame. There's no queen on that side of the frame. There is no queen on this side of the frame. We have a problem. I think they whacked the queen. I think they gave her the old whackaroni. I don't see her here on this frame. I don't see a queen, folks. This hive is, this hive is, oh, there she is right there. Okay, we do have a queen. She's right, oh, she's right there. And she just fell down into the hive. I wonder if I should try to paint her. Maybe I should. Let me find my stuff really quick. Okay, there she is, there she is. There she is, she's flighty. Okay, I don't know why you're trying to fly away, young lady. We're gonna paint you, 
red. And then we're going to put you in a cage to dry. Okay, there you are. Stay in there. Stop trying to fly away. There she is, right in there. I don't know whether you can see that or not. That is a queen bee. I'm going to try to let her go down into the hive here. And then, uh, then we'll get out of this hive. But I tell you what, I'm going to give this hive some more resources if I can find them. There, she's down in there. Stay down. Okay, she's down in the hive and she's painted. Okay, okay, so if I can find some cat brood cells from a medium foundation from one of these other hives out here, she's gonna get it. That's, that's, that's odd. I found a whole frame of brood, but I think it was the frame that I put in last week and they haven't done anything with a lot of it. I think maybe it may have frozen because we have had a couple of nights in the 30s. Um, but she's kind of completely away from the brood. She's not getting near them for some reason. I don't, don't know why. Let's, uh, let's hope that we can solve this problem. Quickly over to hive number six. Really quick look into this hive. Now this hive did have a queen cell. I did not find a queen, but I gave them some more brood. So I want to see if the queen cells finished and if they've made other queen cells let's uh, let's have a look i did go get the beetle sucker 5000 just in case i mean i had it in the truck it's just me ladies it's just me i was here last week just paying you another visit okay here we have a lot of nothing okay here is a queen cell right there the cell that was charged last week, it doesn't appear to be charged anymore, which is odd. I mean, they wouldn't pull that out, would they? And then here's the one that had what looked like popcorn brood on it last week. Oh, look at that. That looks like laying worker all day long. All day long. That's a problem. Same thing on the backside here. Those are not queen cells. Those are laying worker cells. Those are, those are drone cells. They lost their queen. All right, so the question is, did they do anything with the cells that I gave them? Look at this, more. Okay, there is a queen cell, a proper queen cell. Let's see if there's anything in it. And there is, okay. They have something in that one. Okay, this hive is very sketchy. I mean, very sketchy. I know we weren't gonna waste a lot of time here today, but this video may have changed. Okay, this is, there's nothing here but pollen and, and food. I don't know what I should do with that, that popcorn brood cell. I mean, the apiary can use drones, but a laying worker situation is not uh, ideal. Let's go down one more really quick. All right, all right. There's a lot of bees in here to not have a queen. So that was really weird on top, but I mean, this hive is packed. I mean, packed with bees. If I remember correctly, this hive was See, I see more of that popcorn drone brood down there. Okay, this is all honey. Oh, there's some brood. Okay, that's real brood right there. That's, that's, that's brood. That's, that's the good stuff. Okay, we need to find a queen. We need to find a queen. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Did we find a queen in this hive last week? Oh, I see a hive beetle. Two hive beetles. We got them. Okay. Do I see any eggs? No, but maybe this is the frame that I gave them last week. And they just they just capped it because they think they already have a queen. Because it's got a laying worker. Is that what's happening here? Let's see. If there's more than one frame of brood, not a lot happening there. No queen. Okay, there's nothing happening here at all. There's a lot of bees in here, but there's no there's no queen, I don't think. I I I guess this this hive was queenless last week because we saw those queen cells, but man, this is a busy hive to not have a queen. Okay.
Okay, they're loading all of these frames up with pollen. Where in the world is your queen? Where is she? All right. Houston, we have a problem. We do not have a queen in this hive, but we have a laying worker in this hive. And that is the last thing that I want is a laying worker. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to swap the pheromone of that laying worker with a pheromone of a real queen. Because that brood that is capped in here, that's brood that I put in here last week. They just capped it. They didn't make a queen. They just said, heck with it. We got a queen. We're going to cap it. And they don't have a queen. This is all... I don't, there's no queen on there. This is all... I'm going to smoke that. Smoke them off of there. This is all drone brood. This is a laying worker if I've ever seen it. But we're going to smoke the other mm -hmm. side too. Let's see what's going on in here. So let's get some of these bees off of here. Do we see a queen on there? We don't. Let me, um... Now they put the banana on me, I can smell it. Okay, you tell me. Look at this. Look at this frame. This is one side. Now that looks like a queen cell right there. But it's a pretty flaky queen cell. That's just garbage down there. These are all drone brood. And look at this side. They're all fanning like crazy. These girls think they have a queen. They do not have a queen. They've got, they've got, they've got crapola. So here's the plan. I've got to find some brood in a hurry and I got to find a lot of it. Let's, uh, let's close this up really fast. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give those three frames away to another colony. And if the laying worker gets back on those frames, the queen from another colony will kill that laying worker. I'm going to take three frames of eggs from another colony, preferably a strong one, that one over there, and uh, let's see what we can do. All right, we are at lucky number 13 here. Lucky number 13. They look extremely busy, so I'm hoping that this hive will have a ton of brood in it. I want three frames. Oh, they have an apovar strip too. I want three frames of brood, primarily mediums. That's what I want. Okay. We have nothing there but bees and nectar. Okay, here we have all honey. Okay, we have bees. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we have a little bit of brood. And it looks like they got a swarm cell started down there. Unfortunately, the swarm cell is not charged. We want a lot of brood. Okay, this is a lot of brood. Milk brood, capped brood. This is exactly the kind of frame I want to put another queen scent in that hive. Oh, these girls are killing it. Okay, number three is a fully capped frame. And it does have some larvae and some more eggs in it. The other side, we're in great shape. Let's, uh, let's keep looking. We may find just the perfect frame that has swarm cells or something on it. Because this hive looks like it's not uh, planning on sticking around too much longer. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Just a beautiful frame. This hive is killing it. Okay. All right, so here, here's the plan. I'm going to go to that hive. I'm going to take the three frames that have the popcorn brood all over it. I'm gonna move them out of that hive and into this hive. If there's a laying worker on that popcorn brood or on those frames, these bees should kill that laying worker. I'm going to take three medium frames with eggs, capped brood and milk brood all over all three of the frames along with their nurse bees and put them in that hive. Hopefully these nurse bees will protect these eggs, this milk brood and whatnot. 
and identify that they can't smell their queen anymore and start turning some of these eggs into queen cells in that hive. That's the goal, that's the plan. I don't know whether it's gonna work. This may be a big mistake because I'm, I'm sacrificing an awful lot of brood from this hive, but I think that's the only thing that I can do. The queen is definitely not on these frames. Let me go over there and grab those three popcorn brood frames and stuff them in here. All right, I only had two popcorn brood frames over there. I thought I had three. We had two. So here's one with all of its nurse bees on it. Hopefully they will fight or accept their new hive. That's the, that's the plan. Let's, uh, let's put them in here. And then the same thing with this one right here. We're going to drop it in here. And it should really, really freak these girls out. And let's, uh, let's take these over there. All right, so now that that's happened, while we're here, we're going to go through the bottom box and just to see if we have a queen down there. I'm sure that because I've just put strange bees in here, the queen would have been sequestered to the bottom. All right, ladies, I know, I know. It's been a bad day for you. I've come in here and stolen all your brood. I know, it's the worst thing ever, I get it. And I'm sorry, but there's another hive in need. I'm hoping that you girls can, oh, they're launching all over me, they're mad. I just took all their brood. Okay, so what we have here is, is a lot of bees. A lot of bees, a lot of nectar. I don't see, I don't see the queen. Hello, boy, they're launching on me. Okay, there's a full frame of brood. It's actually a beautiful frame. But I tell you what, this, this tells me right here that I'm gonna have to get out here and do some splits in a hurry because, uh, oh, look at that. Because these hives are ready to, ready to burst. They've got every frame down here is loaded with brood. These girls were ready to swarm. Look at this. Wow. Okay, show me the queen, ladies, because she's a, she is the queen of queens. Let's see if we see her on this side. Do you see her? Okay, look at that frame. Beautiful. Beautiful. You see a queen on there? Let's keep our eyes peeled because it's very important that we find her. Very important. Let's look on the other side. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, that's all bee bread. Okay. I'm just gonna have a quick look through these last couple of frames to see if I can find the queen. If I find her, I'll show her to you. There she is, right there. Okay, so we know that the queen has stayed in this hive. She's right there, she's pink from last year. We're gonna put her right back down on the bottom. We're gonna put uh, these frames right next to her. We're putting this hive away before anything bad happens. Next weekend, we're gonna be doing splits. Just saying. Hive number 13 is done. Now we're going to go check hive number 10 again and then we'll get on with the rest of these hives. I know this is turning into another long video. I'll try to edit it and make it quick. I'll only show you the relevant and important stuff. All right, here we go. Let's just, uh, this is going to be really, really quick. We just want to see if they used that frame that I gave them last week. After this, we'll just uh, zip over to hive number 11 where I actually stole the frame and we'll continue on. We're going to skip 13. Already been to lucky number 13. Okay, ladies. All right, show me the brood. Let me give you a little bit of smoke. I've already got angry bees on me from hive number 13 and hive number six. I don't need any more angry bees. Actually, I could probably stand to snag some bees from some medium somewhere. 
Rod of number four over there. Okay. We have uh, nothing happening there. We have some popcorn and some popcorn there. So those are drone brood. Not a big deal. We're not going to panic yet. These girls are also bringing in some bright red pollen from somewhere. I don't know from where. Okay. Not a big deal. We're going to go down one really fast. See how quickly we got through that box. We're not going to. We're not going to. We're not going to linger. No lingering. No lingering here. There we go. All right, really fast. Just let me have a couple of looks, ladies, and I will be O U T, baby, out of your world. Easy. Easy. Okay, we have we have nothing going on there, and nothing going on there. Okay. Okay, these girls are doing a lot of nothing there. Here we have brood. They capped it, but it doesn't look like, well, there's one queen cell, and it is not charged. They capped the other side, but did not make a queen cell. What are you girls doing? What are you doing? Make a queen. I'm giving you what you need. Why? I don't understand. I don't understand what they're doing or what they're not doing. It doesn't make sense to me. Really quick, I'm just going to look at the other frames. Because I'm here, I might, well, look at the other frames. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. And cattywampusness there. There's no queen in this box. Ladies, what are you doing? You're living off the favor of these other hives is what you're doing. You're using all of their resources. Go to the middle. I don't understand it, ladies. You're given every opportunity to succeed and you, you're, you're, you're throwing it away. All right, these girls are going to get more resources soon. I don't know how soon, but soon. I don't know what they're doing or why they're doing it. Why they're not doing what they're supposed to do, I don't know. Oh my gosh, that guy's back again. He keeps taking our stuff. I see a couple of hive beetles. We're going to go ahead and take care of those for you. Well, one anyways. Or three. There we go. What do we have here? Not a lot of anything. Mostly food. A few drone cells. Okay, here we have a lot of nothing. Food. There's our queen right there. She is red from last year, but she's barely red. We could give her another paint job just to freshen her up for this year. While we're here, we might as well. There we go. I'm going to freshen you up, Your Highness. Put you in the clip. There we go. You're in good shape. You're safe. I'm going to let you dry there for a moment. I'm going to look for some more eggs that I can give to that hive next door. Okay, here are three frames from that other hive. We're just going to go ahead and checkerboard these in. I did not bring any bees with them. We're to take these with their bees, with their bees and their queen cell, and go put it in that other hive. Mm -hmm. 
Woo! Here we go. All right, now let's let this queen go. Here you go. You're going back down in your hive. There you go. She's back down in there. Let's make sure she stays. Excellent. Excellent, okay. Now, I believe this hive has a fighting chance. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. Now, I tell you what, today did not turn out the way that I expected it to. I thought for sure we were going to get through the last 10 hives and the other three hives from last week. Well, I was a bit too cocky because those first three hives that we dealt with last week, I had to re-deal with them again today, and that ate up a bunch of time and a bunch of battery on my cameras. So here I am with, with five hives yet to go, and I'm out of battery. But um, I'm going to try to come back later on this week and go through the last five hives so that next weekend, if it's a nice day, we can get out here and start doing our splits. Because, again, I don't want any swarms. And we're going to do some interesting stuff with the splits this year. So there you go. There you have it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please leave a comment. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Take a moment. Hit the subscribe button. Ring that bell to be notified of my new content. I do try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy. And I will see you next week. Take care. <laughs>